So here's one I've been saving for a rainy day, and wouldn't you know it, it's done nothing but rain today. I've had thunder banging into my head for hours now. So amidst the storm and amidst the torrential torrent of rain outside, we're going to look at a toy, and today's toy is Cybertron Longrack, the remold of Armada Hoist, which was already a really good Armada toy, and this somehow managed to make it better. I've said it for a while, and I will continue to say it, the Armada remolds in the Cybertron line are among some of the most clever and interesting remolds and character recastings I've ever seen, and this is probably top among them. So yes, he is a big excavator, uh, earth mover style vehicle. Uh, I do dig the yellow that they're using here. It's definitely in more of a construction shade that I would see on the actual vehicle. But more importantly, it's a nice bright shade of yellow that does not have like that glaring, like super bright look to it. It doesn't muddle the details out. And you can still see quite a few molded details in there. Now the core of the toy is still an Armada figure, which was not quite as heavy on the molded detailing as Cybertron was. But it still does just enough to actually fit in with the rest of the line. So I'm going to give it a pass as far as that goes. Aside from all of the yellow that's dominating around, you're going to see painted yellow as well. That's going to be here on the side of the Caterpillar track as well as some of the new components which have been cast in the off-white plastic here and then done up in yellow and red wherever it is uh, required. For instance, this new big back section here that was not on the original, as well as all this new machinery over here. There's a few more bits of remolding, but we'll mostly see those in robot mode. Also, big bucket done up in this uh, kind of a darker shade of red. And this has been completely painted over to get the look that they were going for on the toy. Of course, all the detailing across done pretty well you can see the brown paint for the windows themselves as well and some matching brown plastic for little bits and details here and there i do like these big grinder looking pieces i always like that idea is like it's grinding up the earth that's uh it's supposed to be rolling through it's kind of kind of a devious device that way and this is one of those toys however it does kind of fall apart once you look too closely at it here toward the back, we can see there's not a whole lot of detail going on. And yeah, there's a very clear spot for the robot mode head with no real hiding place. Uh, what is obviously going to be a robot mode arm is just kind of hanging out there. So it does lose a little bit of its consistency. As far as playability, though, it does roll. It actually rolls quite well, considering it's fake little wheels underneath the caterpillar treads as well as the arm itself. Now, the arm previously activated with a Minicon, but it's Cybertron, so we have a Cybertron uh, Cyber Key, which this one being the Cybertron design, of course, with the Autobot symbol. And on the back, numbers that no longer have any significance because the website is long since dead. Ten years dead, that website is. Well, actually, well, maybe not. I think it was going around a little bit longer. But hey... The key still works. Once the key is inserted, now we can actually push this piece inward, and that makes the arm extend and gives us this big auto scooping action, which is actually pretty cool. I like seeing how much is moving, all those fake little pistons and uh, sections of machinery, in order to get all this to extend forward and get that scoop to actually have that little scooping motion to it. That's actually really cool. It's uh, pretty nice and it works a lot better than it does in armada in armada you just plug the minicon on it flips this little lever out and then you can move the arm in and out as you will here on the other hand uh it actually locks when you remove the key in armada you remove the minicon and the arm still works completely as if you uh just put the minicon on because no one ever put the little lever back to intentionally break the gimmick again <sighs> Armada wasn't all that well designed, guys. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that to you. So let's get this guy to robot mode, and we'll see what one of the better in Armada actually looks like. I'm going to go ahead and break connection points here, as well as uh, these points here in the thighs, which just kind of tab in. That will let me lower 
mm, the legs down is and spin these heavy ratchets listen to that heavy ratchet now also lets me flip the feet to the forward position from there these sections extend out again everything on ratcheted joints it's beautiful thumb fingers elbow yay move that down and then the head flips out from the back rotate around and hey just like that you got yourself a long rack in robot mode and there plant him down and take a good nice long look at this guy so this is based on Beast Wars Neo Long Rack, who was, if you've never seen it before, a Beast Wars style giraffe. It is a transforming giraffe. Look it up. It is hilarious. But one of the features was this big giraffe neck that formed most of his right arm and this super long extension and gripper thing on the end. This like claw. Th he had the claw with his right hand. And that formed his hand, and so he had this massive piece on his right side. Uh, it was a bizarre design. But this, like taking Armada hoist design and retrofitting it into, uh, well, well, redesigning it really, into that into that kind of uh, silhouette that Long Rack had is brilliant recasting for the mold, and it works super super well. If you think a giraffe. Be, you know having to pick a vehicle mode it would probably be something like this a crane or an excavator something that had a really long arm to it or something so that works extremely well the head is also a great homage to long racks head it's got the high uh, if i can get the light to actually show it really well it's got that high crest in the front it's got the red the green colors green eyes and the yellow face it looks so good looks so good they even touched a little bit of yellow across his crest that is a really well-made head i am i'm a big fan you painted the sides like man like you know today where you're lucky if both the face and the eyes are painted on a toy and here we've got all this paint going all the way around the head these were better days man all right so looking at him proportion wise he is a big tough brute of a bot he's got of course, those massive shoulders. Uh, you could definitely tell the vehicle mode was something... I almost want to say the vehicle was an afterthought because the robot mode has like such command of the bulk. It's almost as if the robot came first here and then they kind of decided the vehicle around it. However it came about, it worked incredibly well because he has got a really good, powerful silhouette to him. For Armada, it's really not you know there's really kind of an unheard of like shape and it worked out really well for cybertron it actually adds a little variety you know something aside from the thinner and smoother parts that they typically had that does mean however that pretty much everything you see here was visible in uh vehicle mode so at least you have the legs now which have a little bit more of the brown paint but are otherwise pretty stark in color i this might be the only time where I kind of knock on the toy. I would have liked a little bit of that yellow to come down, maybe across the knees or the feet. Uh, maybe there's a little bit of the red, too, because this is looking pretty barren. I'd really like to bring some of that detail color down a little bit. But beyond that, I don't mind the deco at all. I think he looks quite, quite good. So articulation range now. Okay, let's see what we got. The head is ball jointed, moves, rotates, looks up. Does all the things you want it to do. Those heavy ratchets let those arms move in and out from the torso as you please. But that said, the shoulders only go forward and back. Because, hey, Armada. But still, heavily ratcheted. There's so many. I got it. Like, I almost wanted to take a tally of how many springs are in this guy. Because, oh man, he's just loaded with ratcheted joints. That includes this rotation in this arm nothing no more ratchet in this one and he does have an elbow here no wrist though so he is stuck with this weird kind of an inverse bicep curler because it's his fingers that are up instead of the thumb it's always been a very strange position for the arm there is a waist rotation which uh does allow the cab section of the vehicle mode to rotate freely from the caterpillar treads i kind of a miss for missing that and 
I apologize. But hey, at least I remembered it eventually. Thighs, ball jointed. A little bit of restriction. Doesn't quite go uh, too far out, but about as far as, you know, typically possible by a human. You know, I don't expect a guy like Longrack to be doing the splits. The forward and back works pretty well. Nothing as far as rotation goes, but hey, again, we got some lovely ratchets in those knees. And the angles do have a weird kind of tilt, but it's more a tilt just to make sure the feet find the proper alignment rather than actually giving you a range of articulation. It's more just to balance the toy correctly. So yeah, for Armada, he was a cut above the articulation curve. For Cybertron, he's a little underperforming. That's how much the series kind of changed in two or three years. But hey, that's the way the toy lines evolve. So that's just how it goes. Let's see that gimmick one more time as we insert the cyber key. And now that scooping action has uh, changed to a power punch. So now this thing, now the big scoop just looks like a big boxing glove, which is not the intention, but hey, kind of works. The only downside is that, you know, if you want it right, if you want it to extend this way, you have to deal with that key getting hit by that big chunk piece at the top. I'm not even sure what a big chunk piece at the top is meant to be, because that's where the giraffe's head was supposed to be. It certainly doesn't look much like a giraffe's head, does it? Looks like a weird kind of face, <laughs> but it's not a face of a giraffe. I don't know what kind of face that is. But, yeah. So you're a little bit limited on which angles this thing can shoot forward. But it's a really cool gimmick. And they kept it all to one arm. So that lets the rest of the toy be somewhat articulate and somewhat creative in its usages. So that, my friends, is Cybertron Long Rack. It is an exceptional and very inspired reuse of a site of a, probably one of the best of the Armada line. It does start to show its age in the Cybertron series, but that's just because of how fast the toy lines were evolving between 2002 and 2006. It's kind of an example of just how far they've come and how much more they can kind of be improved over the years. We don't quite get to see that as much anymore, but hey, if you were around at the time, this was an amazing thing to see.